So what we bought for our trip, and uh, for all future trips, and we want to have power in the truck while we're going somewhere else to charge like laptops and other, other devices, we need something called a DC to AC inverter. There's DC power in your battery, and what we see inside our homes is AC power. Some devices take direct current, no problem. Some devices need the alternating current. Anything with a plug like this is most likely going to be alternating current. So in order to run a power strip, and, with, and things like laptops and other devices, we're gonna require AC power. This truck has DC power in that battery. This is where this comes in. The metal and the way it looks right here is, this is our heat sinks, because it will get hot. Essentially, it's turning that DC power, charging it up and doing an AC uh, electric uh, uh, current. There's several ways to, uh, to install these. There's a permanent way, and then there is a temporary way. Oh, and also we paid $99 for this on Amazon and it came in within two days. It's a 1500 watt by 3000 watt. 3000 is going to be your peak power and then the 1500 is just going to continuous. What that means is if something draws higher than 1500 continuous, it, you, don't, you can't run it with this. If it draws higher than this in a peak, which means when you first turn something on, a peak power goes way up. If it's above 3000, then you can't run it on this. You don't want to skimp on these. If you see one for, that has a crap ton of wattage, but it's like, you know, 40 bucks, don't do it. So it's, it's gonna catch on fire and probably, probably be uh, very bad. Now what we're gonna end up doing is the temporary uh, placement. Permanent placement would be using these and going directly to the battery. That works great, but we don't have a lot of time for that and that's not a lot of wire. Oh yeah. I would need to run a lot longer than that if I wanted to get that back here. Later on, if we decide that we're going to do this more often, we might get another one of these, yeah. have one for the inside, so if it was in the cab, they got it, and then actually run one permanently back here. And we'll see. For right now, we're going to go with the temporary. So it's going to get that, that small current from the cigarette lighter, and it's going to input it. So Very. negative and positive, negative and positive. It's really simple. It's just really hard to get wrong. Now these right here are your fuses. These are 40 amp fuses. This is to protect this device, and so if there's a uh, surge or whatever else, you'll blow a fuse. It actually came with uh, a bunch of extra fuses, which is awesome, since 40 amps a lot harder to find. I mean, you can find them, if you want to find 40 amp fuses, the best place to go, in my opinion, is to a car audio place, because they'll have the larger fuses. Uh, a lot of those packs only come up with like a 30 amp is the highest. Okay. You don't want to skimp on that too. If this says it needs 40 amp fuses, you have to put, you have to put 40 amp, and don't go 50 amp. Okay. If the bigger is not better. That means it's allowing a, a, a larger charge through that could still burn something up. Okay. There's directions here, sort they, of. They don't seem very uh, lengthy. <laughs> it's like one page. Don't let it blow away. It says try turning the inverter on and then plug the inverter cigarette lighter into. Okay, so. Okay. It's okay with it being on first. Again, black to black. It's pretty simple, right? Uh, red to red. So I got that screwed on a little bit. Put Very this on. nice. And remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey for those who haven't done it before. Now you want to get it tight, all right? Because you, you want the you want the uh, contact to be tight. If you don't, there's a there's a chance for arcing. Okay. Okay. What essentially what that means is two electrical charges may not be touching correctly and then the, the electricity is going to try to arc to get it okay and then you'll have burn spots spots there potential uh, lighting things on fire oh. so just make it really really tight and not not so tight that you're ripping it through make okay. it hand tight not don't use a power tool okay then there you go that looks really short that's a, right. it's not very long that now it's it, this thing came default on but it doesn't matter we'll go ahead and leave it on cuz they said that's fine okay we're looking for these three things right here you have a USB which means that the USB is ready okay which I see there's two outputs right there for okay. USB and then it says fault that generally means we have an error something's going on okay and then then your power light right there okay. now we want to we want to see the two green ones on and not that red one where is this going to be connected to or is it going to be sitting like here on the ground no it's be inside here right oh, now oh okay Yes, it fits. Well, that's really cool. Now, the issues that we could have here is we're gonna make sure it breathes. And so we will have to work work with this and make sure that this is, doesn't get too hot in here. Is there an, a direct plug into the cigarette lighter in there? Yep. Whoa. 
Way to go, Dodge Ram. Now, because this will get hot, we're gonna have to open it up often to, to make sure that it's not getting too hot. Also, if she has, has a fan, yeah. That means it's, it's gonna be getting its uh, cooling on, you know, and we gotta make sure that uh, this doesn't get too uh, cl uh, cramped. Okay, so this will be a closed compartment most of the time. That's nice that it's contained. Oh, it's doing something. The green lights are on, the numbers are climbing. That was immediate, man. Yep. Now, does it say 14? That's how many volts it's getting. 41. It's showing you what it's getting from the battery. Let's see if we can work the leaf blower. That's not simple. Oh, that's not simple. What's something simple? simple? We're, we're gonna plug this in, and then we're gonna plug in a laptop to that. I like to plug in these first because I'm not gonna plug the laptop directly to that. We right. always want a surge, a surge protector. Okay, good stuff. All right. The compartment is closed. The wire is out. I'm getting really excited. Oh my gosh, if this works, this will be so oh cool. God. This is a uh, Surface Book. And it looks like I got power over here. There it is, fully charged. And you can see the little plug icon. So we are actually, right now, powering this computer through our inverter, yay. Now, I don't know how fast it's gonna charge or any of that stuff yet. That's something we have to try out like over time. But this is a good start. This is how we're starting out. Aaron and I are going to be taking turns driving, and we are going to West Fork, Arkansas, Devil's Den State Park. It is 722 miles from where we are in Canton, Georgia. We are just under one hour into the trip, and all of my precious babies are sleeping. I got a cool map of Alabama. Very cool. It's an ancient device that people used to use. Ooh, who's that handsome man? <laughs> it's you. <laughs> Aaron just figured out how to use the cruise control. Yes. Very exciting. We just left the Arizona Welcome Center rest area. But we were in Alabama, which is really crazy. What did I just say? Arizona. <laughs> Yes, there is an orange on your nose. It's very cute, baby. Still asleep, and you're a trooper. Is it time to switch? Uh, I need to get coffee and, and, and food. So we hit a, uh, a large stretch of nothing. No stops at all, not, no gas, no food. That huddle house is where we're gonna be getting food, and you checked the inverter, right? Yeah, the inverter is uh, like lukewarm at best. It's behind where Ezra is sitting, yep. so it's like inside that console. Yep. And it's powering all the devices that we're using. Yep. And it seems to be doing a pretty good job. You ready for Huddle House, babe? Yeah, this is not the Huddle House. Yeah, this is the Huddle House. Look, it's right behind us. Huddle House. Okay. I'll sit next to you, mommy. Yeah, I'll sit next to you. Come on, scoot in. Look, there's still room for like four more people over here. Yeah, there is still room for like four more people, but our family is done growing. It's going to grow again. So. Uh, maybe when you guys have your own families. I think we're ready to work. Hey, ready. That's your... No touch my coffee. Oh, that's your water, sorry. Can you help me find the maze? Yeah, I think the maze was the first page. Have you figured out the maze, bub? Um, not Mississippi, unbelievable welcome center, honestly. Do you have to go potty? Uh, no. Okay, because we're not going to be stopping again for a minute. We're pulling up to the welcome center for Tennessee. We kind of like barely made it. Oh my gosh, we're so tired. We are not young anymore. Oh wow, even the sign says we've given up. Wow. Now, this wasn't immediately once we entered the state either. No, we just switched over, Aaron and I, because I spilled coffee all over myself, like 30 miles back or something. It's because she's a lightweight, it's not gonna because take I'm so days. tired. We are so tired. And the kids are like, when are we going home? So here is the sign welcoming us to Tennessee, and I'm pretty sure that Tennessee 
does not understand how impressive Mississippi is or they'd be embarrassed. Okay, hurry up, babe. Wash, wash, wash. Rinse, rinse, rinse. Let's go. We are here in Tennessee now. I think we're just gonna be basically passing through Memphis on our way to Arkansas. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Arkansas, woo! Oh my, I almost missed that sign. We're crossing over the Mississippi River. Very exciting. We're into Arkansas. Here is the Welcome Center. The state maps here look a little bit different. Here we are at Devil's Den State Park. We came after hours at seven o'clock, and if you don't get here by five, basically you're considered a late check-in. A very rustic picnic table, very sturdy looking. Oh, and look at that handsome man over there. This is our six person tent that Aaron and I have not used in literally 10 years, nine years. <laughs> Thank God we kept it and everything's all there. Wow, that's long. Looks like you're a magician. It's kind of treacherous getting down here. It's really, really rural, and the road in is extremely curvy, but look how nice this is. Hey, babe, you want me to peel that for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll sit here by the heater, and I'll get this ready for you. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, we didn't we put our trash in the tree. No, we're not putting our trash in the tree, but it is a very cool looking tree. The kids are playing tag. The tent is coming together. Wow, look at that. Is that how it's supposed to look? What is happening, guys? I'm instantly glad that we took this trip. They are so happy, it makes me happy. Wow, look how tall that is. This is really nice, babe. Are you guys gonna roll down the hill with him? Well, Lydia's trying to roll by herself. We're heading to the party for the night. Lydia just accused me of making her fun bad because I made her come over here. How's it going, guys? Can we have yeah. Food now? yeah, we'll get some food. What do you think, Lids? Uh, good. Yeah, it's good. It's very nice, little princess. Bad. And Come you're back. right by mommy. I'll be right behind you, okay? Hey. Hey. I love you. Have snacks and stuff, okay? Love you. We're gonna give you guys some snacks. And we're gonna chill. Me, mommy. Yeah, baby. The reason why I wanted to be over there is because I want to be next to you. No. Well, I'm gonna be right next to you here, so yay! So we uh, we've been using this inverter now for a while. Every time we get in the car, we plug up. Uh, a, uh, a couple things, including this, which, which is a, uh, sorry, essentially it's a big uh, USB uh, splitter, so everyone's devices are all plugged in. This thing still stays not even warm. We haven't had any issues with it. I kind of expected, since it's in that closed area, that it would start building up some heat after we've been driving for hours. On our road trip to Arkansas, not only did we use it basically for 12 straight hours on the way there. Yep, never turned it off. Yeah, we only had it off for maybe four or five hours before we ended yep. up coming back. We had an emergency and we had to come back. So really for like 30 hours almost, that inverter was working, it never overheated. Never got warm or anything like that. We were yeah. using it to charge everybody's stuff, which I know it's not drawing a lot of power. So, you know, you would have to look to see if you uh, if you were doing something more than a laptop. But it was able to keep stuff charged, you know. we I had a laptop going on and we had quite a few different uh, uh, tablets. There's a very good chance that uh, the peak's a little off, like maybe it's a little bit less peak. For a hundred dollar purchase, I would totally recommend it. You think you'd recommend oh, yeah. it? Oh yeah. We recommend it. If you need one, check it out. Yep. Okay, bye guys. Hey Lids, did you sneak out? <laughs> Babe, don't do that. <laughs> you gotta stay with me, love, love. Wait for me, babe, you gotta wait for us. 